Epicurus is often simply advocated for fleeting pleasures, misunderstood as a philosopher, but to dismiss who him as a mere party animal is to overlook the depth and nuance of his teachings. Let's explore the life and philosophy of this fascinating thinker and understand his pursuit of happiness as a thoughtful and deliberate approach to a fulfilling life. Epicurus was born on the island of Samos and developed his philosophy in opposition to prevailing trends. He rejected Plato's abstract realm of forms, instead favoring the tangible world that we experience through our senses. This emphasis on empiricism laid the foundation for his hedonism, but not in the stereotypical sense. Contrary to popular belief, Epicurus's true aim was not the pursuit of fleeting pleasure, but rather ataraxia in a state of inner peace and freedom from worry. He believed that true happiness comes from reducing unnecessary desires, especially those fueled by external pressures and societal expectations. His philosophy was not about self-denial, but about cultivating simple pleasures that enrich our lives without causing anxiety or harm. According to Epicurus, a good life consists of several key ingredients. First and foremost is friendship. He considered close relationships essential for happiness and even created the famous garden, a community where friends lived, talked, philosophized and enjoyed each other's company. Simplicity is another crucial element. Epicurus argued that true pleasure often lies in the unpretentious, enjoying good food, engaging in meaningful conversations, and appreciating the beauty of nature. Tranquility is also of utmost importance. Epicurus advocated for or minimizing desires that cause anxiety, such as the fear of death or the need for social status. By freeing ourselves from uh, these unnecessary worries, we can achieve a state of tranquility and inner peace. To fully understand Epicurus, we must engage with scholarly interpretations. Historians debate the nuances of his four cures of the soul and the tetrapharmacon, exploring how these concepts connect to his overall philosophy. Moreover, there are various interpretations of his hedonism, with some emphasizing its moderation and focus on mental pleasures over physical ones. Despite the varying interpretations, the core message of Epicureanism remains relevant today. A fulfilling life can be achieved by cultivating inner peace, prioritizing meaningful connections, and appreciating the simple joys that surround us. So, the next time you hear Epicurus's name, remember him as more than just a pleasure seeker. He was a philosopher who dared to challenge conventions and offered a practical guide to living well. His philosophy is a reminder that true happiness lies in balance, simplicity, and the pursuit of a life filled with tranquility and meaningful relationships. Remember, this is just a starting point. Feel free to personalize and expand upon these ideas, incorporating your own analysis and insights, or by providing specific examples from Epicurus's writings or the interpretations of scholars.